hi everyone i am betty you're welcome back to my channel in this channel i teach important diys how to make soap at home from scratch how to make other hygiene essentials at home from scratch in this particular video i want to teach you how to prepare your chemical solutions the secrets the everything about it how to know the quantity of caustic soda you need how to know the amount of water or the quantity of water you need to mix it how to know the quantity of soda ash you need how to know the quantity of water to mix it and the other added chemicals you need for your commercial laundry bath soap from scratch we teach everything we know from scratch okay. the formula for the a is one unit caustic soda I remember this is our caustic soda this is our caustic soda so anything can serve as units of your measurement one unit caustic soda plus three units water and b is one unit soda ash and this is my soda ash this is soda ash powder or chemical so one unit plus one over eight unit sodium sulfate. This is my sodium sulfate. Plus 3.5 units water. For the caustic soda, I use three units to dissolve my um, caustic soda. While for soda ash and um, sodium sulfate, solution i use three and a half units water because anything can serve as units of your measurement so what this thing mean is for a for instance if i have 250 gram caustic soda and that is what i have here this is 250 gram caustic soda the 250 gram is my one unit one unit 250 gram so if i want to prepare my light solution that is for a remember i say a is for caustic soda solution so if i want to prepare my light solution that means i will measure my 250 250 gram of <coughs> caustic soda excuse me <coughs> 250 gram of caustic soda and keep this is 250 gram of caustic soda my one unit and the next thing to do is to measure my water my water will be 750 you remember i need to measure it um three units of water for dissolving my one unit caustic soda and here my one unit is 250 so my water will be three times 250 and three times two fifty is seven fifty. So that is for my water that we use to dissolve my caustic soda for chemical solution preparation. Hope you understand. It's not difficult. So I want to measure my water two fifty into three places. It will give me uh, seven fifty for this unit. I'm making use of. Anything can serve as unit of your measurement. Any number. If you have caustic soda, 500 gram. The water that you use to dissolve it for chemical preparation, chemical solution preparation is 500 times 3. 500 times 3. If, it's, if your caustic soda is 125 gram, the water that you use to dissolve your caustic soda is 125 times 3. So here my own is 250. The caustic soda I have is 250 for this chemical solution preparation. So 250 times 3 will be the quantity of water. And this is my water. This is a very clean water. Okay, sorry I have not introduced everything. This is my funnel for pouring my solution inside my keg the remaining solution this is for the light solution and this is for soda ash solution 
this other thing this bucket here is for my soda ash solution while this one is for my caustic soda solution this chemical here is my sodium silicate and i will need it when i want to make the soap sodium silicate i need one over six units that is remember my one unit here i'm using is 250 so 250 over six is the quantity i need for my silicate but that is when i'm making the soup proper but for preparation of chemical solution i don't need the silicate for now so let me keep it aside i want to prepare my light solution i want to measure my water this is 75 cl by 750 ml i want to pour it in my bucket Pour water first before caustic soda, please. The next thing to do is to dissolve my 250 gram caustic soda in this bucket, and that is what we call lye solution or caustic soda solution. So the this thing is caustic soda mix with water and it is what we call light solution light solution or caustic soda solution stir it to dissolve and keep it aside to cool to room temperature so leave it for at least one hour to two hours before production so that must have cool to room temperature. Be very careful with this solution, please. It is called light solution or caustic soda solution. So, after our light solution is cooling, you can as well leave the light solution and the caustic so sorry the soda ash solution to cool for like one day two days three days it doesn't spoil but at least let it cool to room temperature so that's why i said at least one hour to two hours before production that is if you are um, dissolving it today and you still want to make the soap today if not you can dissolve it today and make your soap like in two days time or in tomorrow so the next thing to do now is to prepare our soda ash chemical solution remember what we are doing today we are learning how to prepare our chemical solution for laundry commercial laundry soap this type of recipe we don't use soap calculator because of the added chemicals that doesn't reflect in the soap calculator so we've um, prepared our light solution and is cooling then want to prepare a soda ash solution so to prepare my soda ash solution the first thing to do is to measure your unit of me uh, your unit of measurement to measure it out so for instance i have soda ash 250 gram of soda ash this is my soda ash you measure it and keep the second thing is to measure your sodium sulfate and my sodium sulfate the quantity i need is one over eight units i remember my unit is 250 grams so 250 over eight 250 is one unit for me so one over eight is 250 over eight and 250 over eight here is 31.25 gram so i've measured it this is my sodium sulfate quantity that I need. Then the next thing is to measure out my water. And the water quantity I need is 875 gram of water. The formula we are using is um, 1 unit of soda ash, 1 over 8 units of sodium sulfate then 3.5 units that is three and a half units of water 
so my three and a half unit of water is my one unit times 3.5 that is 250 times 3.5 and i'm getting 875 gram of water that is the quantity i need to dissolve my soda ash so i want to measure my water now i've measured my sulfate and i've measured my soda ash so let me measure my water so this is my water quantity 875 the next thing to add is my soda ash i'll add it inside here and as i'm adding i'm stirring after that i will add my sodium sulfate inside this same bucket and stir to dissolve and allow it to cool that's what i want to do now so in here is my soda ash and my sodium sulfate you remember so I want to cover this bucket and allow it to cool to room temperature for like one hour to two hours at that time it must have cool you can as well allow this mixture to stay for like a day or two days before you start your production it's totally your choice the main thing is for it to dissolve and cool to room temperature so this mixture is what we call soda ash solution and the other one is this other one is our caustic soda solution or what we call lye solution so this is basically what you need or what is required of you to prepare your chemical solution when you say your chemical solution that is your soda ash solution and your lye solution for your commercial laundry soup so when it has cooled the next thing is to go to the next formula that is a or b remember the first formula is a and b and the a there a is the light solution y the b is the caustic soda then the next formula is a or b that is our our formulation method so it's either you choose four is to two is to one or you choose four is to two is to two you remember so the four is for your pko the pancanel oil then the first two is for your light solution and the last two or last one is for your soda ash so go through your lesson guide everything is detailed there Another thing is because we didn't use our soap calculator, so we need a hydrometer. Go to your lesson guide to learn about hydrometer. The uses, sorry, the the work of hydrometer. We use it to read or test the chemical density and neutrality of our caustic soda and our soda ash solution. So you also need to take your chemical uh, solution reading. For soda ash, this soda ash, you need 1 to 50. Let me bring it out and show you. So for your this soda ash solution, we need 1 to 50. Can you see? See 1 to 50 there? That's what we need for this. Then for our caustic soda solution, we need 1275. My camera, please. 1275. That is the next one. Just here, here, see it. 1275. That's what you need for the chemical neutrality of your chemicals solution. So this is what we need for our chemical solution preparation. Thank you so much for watching. I am Betty.